This is Mario once again with MIA Microflight, and these are my magnetic uh, hockey players. You've seen games probably like this on the internet uh, quite a bit. I mean, there are a lot of people that have done magnetic uh, um, uh, hockey uh, games using, uh, you know, uh, beginning with cardboard on up to wood and some very elaborate uh, systems that use uh, mechanics. But I just wanted to keep it simple, just for, you know, family play. Uh, I don't plan on selling this, it's just a do-it-yourself project uh, that I did it uh, so that I can uh, play with my, my family when they come. You know, it's just something to get us entertained other than the uh, uh, away from the phones. You know, it, uh, it just technology is great to a certain extent, but, uh, you know, if we can go back to our roots, you know, a simple uh, game plane that engages the family and keeps everybody uh, connected that way, it's a lot better than uh, having to re resort on technology and you know everybody's distracted and everybody's on their own uh, in their own world so this is uh, one of those uh, games that uh, I did you know to reconnect the, the family not that my family is disconnected thank God my family is well uh, connected we are all very uh, very uh, much in, uh, involved in our each other's lives as it should be you know families need to be uh, uh, involved in each other's lives we need to support each other we need to uh, reinforce uh, the education, you know, the uh, our beliefs in God, in uh, in our kids, something that is lost in this world, and with so much technology uh, that has almost disappeared. So, this is uh, the reason why I do these games, why I did the soccer table that you saw in another video, and why I keep doing these little projects. You know, outside from my typical, you know, you see the uh, the, the hang lighters, the ultra lights, and all the the big stuff that I do sell. Those are products that that I sell to this day. This is just something for fun, and I may, uh, if people are interested in this type of stuff, I may release the, you know, the uh, the files for the 3D printing uh, figurines and the parts that you need, you know, to assemble uh, this type of uh, game. Uh, these games, because they're magnetic, they use magnets, obviously. These are neodymium magnets. Uh, these are N52, which is a uh, uh, power rating of the magnets. These are very strong magnets, and so I don't require really big magnets. So I'm using these little magnets, and sometimes... I double stack them so I buy the magnets that are uh, smaller that I can stack and it allows me to control the uh, power function if I need uh, greater power you know function but these are the uh, handles uh, and you can see you know they use two magnets on each of the handles and they use two magnets on each of the uh, players there's one on each side here and that's to retain it in line with the uh, with the base here the base is uh, just a, a very simple um, uh, part here, uh, this uh, from playing this this broke, so I had to uh, modify that. I had to make it stronger. But here's the other one. You, know, you can see the magnets there, and I did this even for four or eight um, magnets if I wanted to go that that route. But I didn't really need it because these magnets, like I said, are neodymium and they're pretty strong, and they hold the players in. Uh, um, they hold the players very good on the surface. This is a, uh, I believe this is a four millimeter. Uh, Four millimeter uh, corrugated uh, plastic, corrugated polyethylene plastic. So it's a great surface for doing this type of work. And you can see how the how ma manipulating the uh, the little figure here, and it's got good enough power that you can uh, you know you can turn this and you can hit the puck. Now the puck uh, varies. I have uh, pucks that are. Um, these are, I believe, are uh, 1.5 millimeter in thickness. This one is uh, 2.5, um, and I've even used, uh, you know, bottle caps, you know, for, for bottles that work up, uh, very good on this type of surface. You could use plexiglass. Plexiglass is even better because it's uh, a little bit more smoother. But this surface right here is very forgiving, and if you, you know, it, the only thing is it gets dusty. But you can wipe this, and you can be playing, you know, with um, with a lot, of, uh, a lot of fun. 